Man, that is not a six cylinder. And that is also not a 392. Uh, this one's got a little bit of love underneath the hood. So let's check it out. So we didn't build this JL, it's a 2021 JL. We did some work to it, but uh, it was put together by Exodus Off-Road in Texas. Um, and this is what they did. So take a look. What's that say right there? 426 Hemi. So uh, this thing has a seven liter 426 Hemi, bigger and more horsepower than the 392. Hold on, I wrote down uh, some details on this thing. Let's see, chicken scratch here. So it has 606 horsepower. So naturally aspirated, it's basically like a board and stroke 392. Quite a few different things. This actually kind of fits under the hood better than the 392 because it just has standard air cleaner. Um, some things are moved around. We just got done putting PSC on this and you can see the reservoir is right up here by the booster, which on a 392, we have to put the reservoir way over here and come across because the pump is on the driver's side. So with this setup, um, you're gonna get a little bit better flow with your PSC steering, so that's cool. Um, aluminum radiator for the 426 swap. So the story on this Jeep is we put our WFO long arm on this Jeep about six months ago. Um, and then the customer sent it out to Texas to get the Hemi. So this is the AMW uh, 426 606 horsepower swap. This has the 8 HP 75 eight speed transmission, which is a little bit stronger than the standard eight speed that comes in the JL. And then even though this is a Rubicon, they take the Rubicon case out because with that much torque and horsepower and the eight speed, you don't need the four to one low gears uh, in the transfer case. And I will definitely attest to that because my 392 is only 2.7 gear ratio in the transfer case and it crawls just fine. So. The AMW package put in this Jeep, all the factory gauges are working, factory electronics, push button start, everything's working flawless. Um, and that was Exodus that put it in in Texas. And uh, so they also did some other cool, st cool stuff to this. So first off, Dynatrack axles. Um, this thing has a Pro Rock 60 front and you can see the PS PSC Hydro Assist Ram down there. Um, so a cool thing about this Jeep that we like to do with wide axle Jeeps is this is the 73 inch wide axle package, but you can see the hub is almost even with the outside of the wheel. Five and a half inch, five and a half inch back spacing, uh, forged race line bead locks. So really wide axles, but then back space way in. So you get an awesome scrub radius when you turn this thing which also keeps it from rubbing as much in the fender wells because the tire just pivots instead of driving back and forth. While we're standing right here by the wheel well, we also see something pretty cool that Exodus did. So uh, these are King coilovers, so no regular coils and shocks, King air bumps, but it has the E-click. So this is new to us at WFO, haven't seen this before. So basically it's like a live valve coilover. Um, so what happens is, Take a look at this shifter. Right on the top of the, the four-wheel drive shifter, you see that little digital screen? So right on the top of the four-wheel drive shifter is where you can adjust your shocks uh, while moving. So I have no idea how it works or what it's gonna do on the trail, but pretty damn cool. We'll put it in park. Um, on the rear, Pro Rock 80, same thing, wide rear axle, hubs almost to the outside of the wheel. Um, it's got the uh, Rock Jock uh, rear sway bar, and once again, right here, you can see the King coilovers uh, with the E-click, and you can see the coilovers hanging off the back of that giant Dana 80. On the back has the Genrite tire mount for 40 inch nittos, forgot to tell you that. Um, all Overall, pretty damn cool Jeep. I wish that, uh, we had done all the work, but I'm glad it's got our long arm on it and we got to do that portion of it. And it's nice to be able to drive something, another V8 Jeep to kind of compare to the 392. Now this one's two wheel drive, not all wheel drive, 
So in the long run, people might argue it's gonna be stronger. Um, as you can see, you get on it, it smokes the tires a little bit. Awesome, awesome Jeep. I mean, 426, there's a, what do they say? There's no replacement for displacement. So that seven liter makes me want more. I think I need to get a supercharger for the shop Jeep.